I S U P K. Hey, slow, man. This is Priest Kevin the Dome Hall with the I S U P K. On the Command of Journey Island in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Run. Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. We start out at 1 West 125th Street out of Harlem, New York, under command of Jenny Ahana, man. You understand? We're not affiliated with no Israelite group or no Christian organization, man. As the eyes who became the, and the men of the Lord, we coming out here to teach the truth according to the Bible to all black Hispanics and Hispanics and telling them what they need to do, giving them back their historical records, man. You understand? The brother was just up here breaking down just how beautiful it is to understand that Christ was a black man. We don't understand the value in that because it's been stripped from us because we're too close to wanting to be American. You understand? We don't understand that black people, we be having game being run on us currently and in the past, man. And if we don't step up and say something about it, this game is just going to keep going on and on and on again, man. You understand? Not knowing right now, you got right now, you got Christmas that's today that's being celebrated of some so-called white man and his birthday is today when once again black man we being ran game on to man how are we going to celebrate a holiday you don't even know the truth about but of course just like anything in our oppression black people we love to put our own spin on things and ignore the truth we don't understand why god hates the holidays that we celebrate we don't understand the whitewashing that's in these holidays and you know why when, we, when these holidays come around, just like what happened in Christmas, go look up the history and the origins of Christmas and what it was like for a black slave on a plantation. They wanted you to get drunk, you understand? They wanted you to get loose. They wanted you to get comfortable. And that's what we don't see as blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. When we decide to celebrate Christmas and watch the ball drop on New Year's and have that holiday spirit, that treacherous, evil, devil-like holiday spirit, we forget that we are slave in America, man. Right. Because you can put up a Christmas tree and put some pretty lights around it, you forget that you got work at four o'clock in the morning. Right. You forget that you got bills to the top of your neck. You understand? You forget that you're gonna get evicted next week. You understand? That's the evilness in these holidays and the simpleness in these holidays. Christmas, celebration of Christmas, despite the evil, wicked uh, uh, origins of Christmas, we forget really and truly just how destroyed we are. Because we get a day, that's why they call it the holiday spirit. Everybody's in the holiday spirit, and this is something that black and Latino people, we feel like we can be a part of. So let's ask each other a question right fast. You understand? Because we're going to pull it all in the Bible. If Christmas is all about hugs and kisses, and family being around. Why does the crime rate in the black community skyrocket on these holidays? Give it, give it until January 5th, and look how, look how the crime rate jumped out the roof on Christmas and during this time frame. Because during these holidays, we don't know how to act. We don't even know what's going on. God hates Christmas, and that's what we need to know. You don't have to wait until December 25th to see your children, black man. You don't have to wait until December 25th and New Year's to link up with your brothers and sisters and have something to eat. But doing it on the day of Christmas, God said he hates. Give me Amos 5 and 21. We're going to show it in the Bible, man. That's what we did. Matter of fact, take me to Amos chapter 5, verse 1. Then drop me down to verse 21. 
because black people need to understand that the Bible has always and will always be talking about black people, man. You understand? So when God said that he hates and he hates our feast days, he hates our holidays, he hates the food that's at those holidays, he hates all of your Christmas carols, he hates all of your Christmas songs, he hates your ugly behind Christmas sweater. When God said he does that, we got to figure out why he said that he hates it. We got to figure out why it is that God hates Christmas. It's supposed to be about love, right? It's supposed to be about Christmas giving, and it's supposed to be Christ's birthday. Well, if it's Christ's birthday, we not we got no business to be celebrating birthdays in the first place. But why are we getting gifts? If it's Christ's birthday, why are you getting the gifts? That holiday spirit, what it does is it allows us to be selfish and ignore what's really going on. We don't even know that Christ is black. But we want to say that it's Christ's birthday on December 25th. That's a lie. Go and look it up. You're actually worshiping an evil African king known as Nimrod. Right. Go look it up. It's in the Bible. You understand? Use your Google machine. But we're going to pull it out in the Bible where it tells you that God hates Christmas. God hates New Year. You understand? You got that scripture? Give me Amos 5 and 1. Amos chapter 5 verse 1. Okay. Hear ye this word which I take up against you, uh -huh. even a lamentation, O house of Israel. O who? O house of Israel. One more time. O house of Israel. Now it's saying, O house of Israel. This right here is the house of Israel. The so-called black native and Hispanic. God is about to say something against us. Why? Because just like in the book of Amos, we was up in here celebrating uh, heathen customs and culture. We was up in here following the way of the heathen like God said not to. You understand? Drop me down to verse 21. You understand? The rules that, the, that our Father has given us, there's reason behind it. And we're going to find out those reasons today. You got that scripture? Three. Verse 21. I hate, uh -huh. I despise your feast days. It says, I hate. I despise your feast days. Now, hate is a strong word. Right. Ain't that what the Christian church say? Don't hate, brother. Hate is a strong word. Don't the Christian church tell you that God don't hate? Don't he tell you that? Well, who wouldn't hate? Who wouldn't hate? Let's go into the history of these holidays. Back in the day, where Christmas originated from, there was an Everest tree that didn't die. There was a heathen, an African king named Nimrod. And when he died, his mother said, that he was in this tree, that this spirit of his was inside of this tree. And he had us who was under, and she had us who was underneath their captivity to come and worship this tree. We being simple, came and worshiped it. And what happened when we did it? What happened when we didn't decorate this tree with gold and silver? We would have our heads cut off and it would be hung on this tree. And those was your Christmas ornaments. Those was your Christmas ornaments right there. So once again, I ask you a question. Why would God tell you that he hates and he despises our feast days? Because on our feast days, on Christmas, New Year's, birthdays, Thanksgiving, we get high out of our mind and the Christian and the, and the crime rate goes out the roof. We go missing. Black sisters get abducted on these holidays. You understand? The shootings in our neighborhood gets up. The brothers and sisters get thrown in the pen. You understand? All wickedness breaks loose when these holidays come around. You gotta ask yourself something, why? Because God is not with them. God is a just God. He would not get down with a holiday that has the bloodshed of his children. He would not get down with the holiday that celebrates homosexuality. He would not get down with a holiday that would allow you to think that you can get high. You understand? We go in the book of Leviticus chapter 23. You're going to find where the Lord gave his children high holy days to follow. And the God of this Bible describes himself as a black man. That's and right. he knows his children love the party, man. He knows we like to get down, get on the grill, get on the smoker. You understand? Put on some music. He knows we like the party. The high holy days that he has for us. Oh, they last for days, brothers and sisters. Right. They last for days. You should just see how glorious it is that you can have a you can have a drink. The sisters can be around sisters, and there's no evil wickedness that's going on. Now tell me if you can say the same at your Thanksgiving table. Tell me if you're not worried about Uncle So and So touching you when nobody's looking. You understand? 
tell me you're not worried about all of the enviousness that you know is going on at the table, man. All year long, brother, you the, the wife, the woman, your ex been telling you you can't come see your children, but on this one day, you can come around and your children looking across the table at you in hatred. You understand? These things right here, this is why God don't, uh, uh, this is why God hates these holidays, man. Read it from the top. Amos, chapter 5, verse 1. 21. 20, 21. I hate, I despise your feast day. And I will not smell your solemn assemblies. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies, man. You understand? The Lord does not dwell in our solemn assemblies when we get together at the Christmas gathering. When we see who going to wear the ugliest Christmas sweater, the Lord is not there. He said that he hates and he despises your feast days. You understand? Christmas is a lie. Santa Claus is not a white man. You understand? Santa Claus is a black man. St. Nicholas. But of course, what happens? Because it's for the kids, we're going to let them celebrate it. We're going to let them dress up like elves. We're going to let them put on some 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 uh, some bull crap behind clothes that the Lord said that the Lord despises. We're going to let them get in all the Christmas carols and Christmas specials, you understand, to embarrass ourselves celebrating a holiday that is actually against us, man. You tell me what sense that makes. You understand? Keep reading. Come on, come. Verse 22. So ye offer me burnt offerings uh -huh. and your meat offerings. Right, so don't we do that? We offer the Lord burnt offerings. We get together. We cook up the Thanksgiving turkey, the Thanksgiving ham, the Christmas ham and turkey, the yams. You understand? The, the, the bees and all of the extra stuff in the world. We get together and we, we cook up this nice meal, right? The Lord said that he's not with this. You understand? He hates the smell of our burnt offerings and those food things, all the food items. Everybody got to bring a food item to the holiday function. The Lord hates it. He wants you to drop the mac and cheese, black man. Just know on your Thanksgiving, on your Christmas, whoever drops the mac and cheese, the Lord did it. You understand? Whoever drops the collard greens, the Lord did it. That's right. He ain't with all of that, man. Keep reading. I will not accept them. Say it again. I will not accept them. Brother, you got to be making this up. This is in the Bible, man. It says that God said that he will not accept them. He don't accept all of the Thanksgiving and all the Christmas and New Year's gifts and food. He don't accept the potluck dinners, man. Keep reading. Neither will I regard the peace offering of your fat beast. Keep going. Verse 23. Take thou away from me. The noise of thy song. Take thou away from me the, no the noise of our songs. God just said that he don't want to hear your Christmas jingles. He don't want to hear your jingle bells, jingle bells. Read it again. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. Keep going. Verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy song. Read it again. Take thou away from me the noise of thy song. So next time you want to play some Christmas jingles and you think that God is with it and Christ is, and, and Christ is down with your Christmas celebrations, God said, take away from me the noise of thy songs. He don't want to hear all that bull crap, man. Right. He don't want to hear that music. He don't want to hear your jingles bell. He don't want to hear your Santa slang. He don't want to hear none of it, man. Because God is against all of that foolishness. It's evil in his sight. And it's evil in our sights. What are we doing? What are we thinking putting on these Jingle Bell songs? We don't know the history of Christmas. We don't, so we, we don't see what it does to us. We feel so happy and so grateful that we get to see our children on the holiday because the whole family is off. You don't see that you're a slave for the rest of the year? You don't see that this is a little nibble for you to feel what freedom uh, tastes like for just a second? You should absolutely hate your oppressor that you have to get together with your family on December 25th out of a 365 day of the year. But we want to sit here and jump up and down. Yeah, the family coming down, the family coming down. Your family ain't just your family on December 25th, black man. You understand? Your family ain't just your family on, on New Year's Eve. You understand that we can die tomorrow, right? There's all types of Christian sayings. A day above ground is a blessed day. You understand? A day above the dirt is being below it. You understand? Uh, now, uh, now tomorrow's not promised, but what are we doing? 
we want to wait until December 25th. You understand? That is against the Lord, man. You understand? To celebrate these holidays, man. The Lord has high, high holy days for us year round, man. And they're glorious. They have meaning. This is when he stepped in. You understand? He stepped in and he showed his word to Jacob, man. Got more? No sweat. Keep reading. Verse 23. For I will not hear the melody of thy vow. You understand? Once again, he won't hear the melody of our vows, man. He don't want to hear all of your Christmas carols. He don't want to hear this Christmas. He don't want to hear none of it. He don't want your, uh, your, your uh, Christmas movies, your New Year's movies. Why? Because it allows us to forget our conditions here in this hellhole. You understand? And God, he is a jealous God. Take me over to, you got more on that? Take me over to Exodus 34 and 14. We're going to keep dropping it heavy because it's all in the Bible. You understand? But we got to ask ourselves a question. How long are we going to continue to ignore what God says? Because what is for the kids? What you should not do is lie to your kids. You should not tell them that Santa got them them gifts. Brothers and sisters, you know damn well you got three, four jobs to get them them gifts, man. You shouldn't lie to them. You shouldn't go break your behind on some slavery to get them the Xbox and the PlayStation and then say some ho, 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 uh, Santa Claus is the one that got it for. Stop lying to these brothers and sisters, man. I understand that we was lied to. Thank you, brother. Grab your fly, man. You understand? I understand that we was lied to, but that don't mean we got a lot of our children. Who here likes to be lied to? Raise your hand. I thought so. I thought so. Don't nobody here like to be lied to. So we should probably not lie to our children. We should probably not teach our children to do to celebrate holidays that ain't got nothing to do with us, man. But the death of us. You got that scripture? Exodus 34 and 14. Exodus chapter 3. Verse 14. Go ahead. For thou shalt worship no other God. Read it again. For thou shalt worship no other God. And that's what we missing, man. We don't understand. We can't seem to get around why the black community is destroyed. Because the things that we are addicted to, we're going to find out in history that that is a worship of another God, man. We break our backs to make sure we get a Christmas tree up in that house, man. Black people, we got enough bills, but for some reason, because it's December 25th, I'm going to run up the light bill and throw all types of lights and rain bills outside of my house. And I tell me what sense that makes, right? Then when the house catch on fire, the light bill run up and you ain't got enough money. Now we sit looking dumb and stupid, man. When we going to open up our eyes, man? You understand? We break our pockets on these holidays. You understand? But we wondering why it is that there's Chinatowns and, and, and other people's businesses, the white man's business in your neighborhood. Maybe we should focus on not building up their kingdom. Maybe we should stop spending money on their Christmas. You understand? Got more? Keep reading. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, whose Lord, whose Lord, say it again. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, for the Lord, whose name is jealous. Now, why would God be a jealous God? We always got to question these things, man. We always got to ask questions and, and figure out, well, why is God a jealous God? Because his children, the people that he gave and chose, the people that he gave the laws to, the people that he gave his covenants to, the people that he chose, we running around celebrating our slave master's holidays. Why would you not be angry? You understand? This thing right here pisses God off. December 25th pisses God off, man. You understand? New Year's pisses God off. He got the head that his son is being called the white man, and it's his birthday on December 25th. That pisses him off, man. The scriptures say that Christ was born in the New Year's, man, in, the, in, the, in spring, not in the dead of winter. But of course, we've been running game too, man. We've been lied to. And when we go open up our eyes and stop accepting these lies, man. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas 
with wheat right hooks turning the gunners Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this beat punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler Warhol, or either call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fans in 